Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to John's Model Making. Today we've got the Titanic, the ship, the legend, issue 21. I've received uh, four issues today, so that was brilliant. A couple of days earlier than normal. And here we got a box, now it's got a piece of the whole section. And we also have two bags. Here we go, that is for the forecastle. So that's the breakwaters, capstans, steam valves. And these are for the well deck. Yep, they just changed the colour. He's a gun metal, which is what I've been putting mine as, so that's fantastic. We'll have a look at that later. And we'll do a comparison, we'll do a before and after. So let's have a quick look at the parts. There we go. Starboard hull section. So we get IM, KM screws, and basically just pop that into place. And then that is completed work. Looks like we're going to need. Yeah, fits together with two KM screws using the Allen key supplied with issue 15. So I like to drag that out. And there we have on the back page the replacement parts for issues 1 and 13. Excellent stuff. There we go, there's the magazine. So we can have a look through the magazine. Have a quick shift here. What is uh what story content we have coming in issue 22 we have extension cable for the second funnel arched and rectangular windows for the superstructure led strip plastic band and screws excellent and here we have on page three the bell epoch part one bell epoch is a term used to describe the era of peace prosperity and progress that existed in europe in the years before world war one uh, this is an illustration from a catalogue from the for the 1900 Paris Exposition or the Exposition Universelle which was a world's fair held in Paris between 14th of April 12th of November to celebrate the achievements of the past century it's a lovely picture that goes on for three pages cracking artwork here cinematography Lumiere looks like it could be a comedy <laughs> and another couple of pages there we go the Metropolitan. Oh, that looks brilliant. Art Nouveau Metro. In 1897, Paris began to prepare for the 1900 Paris Exposition with the construction of the first metro line. The city needed to catch up with London, where the underground, the oldest in the world, had opened in 1863. Excellent stuff. There's a French stamp celebrating 60 years since the invention of cinema by the Lumiere brothers. Excellent. Love these articles. Oh, it is a cracker. Menus on board Titanic. Love these. Let's have a look. RMS Titanic, April 14th, 1912. Luncheon. Consomme Fermier. Cocky Leaky. Phillips of Brill. Egg a la Argentile. Chicken a la Mar Marilinade. No, it's not. It's chicken a la Mar chicken a la maryland <laughs> get that out eventually <laughs> corn beef vegetables dumplings from the grill grilled mutton chops mashed fried and baked jacket potatoes custard pudding apple meringue pastry buffet salmon mayonnaise potted shrimps norwegian anchovies soused herrings plain and smoked sardines roast beef round of spiced beef veal and ham pie oh that sounds brilliant virginia and cumberland ham Bologna sausage, brawn, galantine of chicken, corned ox tongue, lettuce, beetroot, tomatoes. Cheese is Cheshire, Stilton, Gargonzola, Edam, Camembert, Roquefort, St. Ivo and Cheddar. And Ice Draft Munich Lager beer, 3 pence and 6 pence a tankard. Excellent stuff. That is fantastic. And another cracking picture here as well. And here we have one passenger remark that no effort had been spared to give even second class cabin passengers the best dinner that money can buy. Third class. Choice in third class was less elaborate and the day's menu was printed on a single page that included breakfast, lunch, tea and dinner. However, on many other transatlantic liners, no meals were provided for third class passengers who had to bring their own provisions for the crossing from home. Then we have the instructions. Excellent. Okay, let's get the parts out and get on with the build. There we have the whole section. That looks lovely and bonny. 
Put them out there we got KM screws, LM screws, and we need this shoe 15. Just get the hole. Okay, don't know. We got everything that we need, and uh, we can like, put this hole section in place. Now there's four screws at the bottom. One, two, three, four, and there's two. One, two there now this uh, needs to go something like so let's see line that one up and that's that there we go that went too bad we've got four screws one two three four and two here Right. Uh, so we need four of these IM screws. Yeah, going in to metal, of course. So let's start with this one. Pop a bit of oil on that one. Pop that there. Excellent stuff. There we go. There are four in place. Okay, I've had to do one or two adjustments on the desktop because the cameras didn't like the lighting. Um, this towel seems to uh, be the best for sorting that out. So, and it's got anchors on as well, as you can see. So, it's a sailor's towel. Anyway, we've got two more screws. One here, one here, and we need this little piece. So basically, let's see if we can pop this over like this. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try and get it in first. Um, and then, I'll stand out of the way. Hopefully, I can pop it on another camera in a sec. Take forever. Let's see if we can a little screwdriver. Here we go. Show you this one. I've got a little screwdriver. There we go. That fits nicely into that screw. So we can tighten it up somewhat. Then finish it off with the Allen key. There we go. I've taken it nicely now. That. Let's pop another one in, just to the bottom here, that one's going to be even more awkward. Let's see if this little screwdriver can help me out again, is it small enough? Nope, it's not going to give me enough clearance, but I can see that one, there we go just there so we'll try to hand tighten it a little bit first uh, that is well awkward pop that there let's turn it hopefully it's gripped it Manage it in the end. There we go. It's not fully tight, and I'm going to move the camera and do it off camera. What we say? Okay, that should be it. That's that top one in. Excellent. Brilliant stuff. And as for these bottom ones, larger screwdriver. There we go. Don't overdo it, whatever you do. That's well, nice and tight. Excellent stuff. So one, two, three, four, one there, one there. That's six screws all together and that is now complete.
there we go there's a bit of a gap but that's normal there we go there's that whole section in place there is some gap in there uh, I have been using uh, beeswax let's get rid of the gap in uh, as you can see it's not as prominent on that side um, I know one or two other people have got their own ideas but we'll see what it turns out like I'm not doing anything drastic uh, well I won't do anything drastic full stop but uh, <laughs> certainly not going to strip it just for that anyway there we go that is brilliant okay no that looks absolutely fantastic now look at that really coming on now I do know that we get another piece for here uh, I'm not sure what issue it is it might be issue 24 or that but now we can have a look at those uh, replacement parts that uh, this enters pop that there excellent stuff it was very fiddly all them screws really must say very very fiddly uh, I'm just glad I got these little screwdrivers I think these were um, if I remember rightly I think these were a uh, Christmas cracker well they come in handy there's three little ones so great for the uh, top screw but the lower screw no that was a struggle but we got there in the end now let's have a look at these other parts okay no. so this is the world deck um, number 13 there's the new color it looks like gun metal to me that uh, this is what we did receive so we need to replace that 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 and that the white ones so there's before and there's after so quite a difference oh they look brilliant I do prefer the gun metal I must admit all these are the same I know some people prefer black but uh, that's my preferred colour anyway let's do the forecastle now this is my modified forecastle as you can see uh, I have already put uh, brass on top of these captains and these steam valves these look a more yellowy colour to be honest uh, the breakwaters had already done um, but let's have a quick look anyway there we go that's all then replaced now obviously I'm going to have to repaint that one that one that one and that one now let's see if I can get a close up there we go that's much much better there we go I don't know how accurate these colours are um, but then again I don't think anybody really does so uh, but I will change the colours on the others they look nice anyway one of the steam valves uh, didn't want to come out so it did break and then I had to push the rest of the uh, plastic out of the hole so they are very very tight fit definitely don't need any glue but that is the uh, looks all finished with excellent stuff that's the broken one could be glued in place if need be um, I'll keep the breakwaters and at least I've got a spare steam valve anyway excellent excellent there we go guys there's the panel in place the forecastle on the deck there I just need to pop a bit more glue uh, like it matches the new parts and there's the weld egg excellent stuff that is brilliant now i have got issues 22 23 and 24 uh they'll be up on my channel as soon as possible we got whitman at the back and they are so noisy it's incredible <laughs> it sounds it's very difficult recording but there we go um all these bits and bobs i'll just keep because they can be easily repainted but anyway that is it for today thanks for tuning in and watching if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you soon for issue 22 thanks a lot bye for now